So my name is Simon Vincent. I'm the Executive Vice President and President for Europe, Middle East and Africa, which is a region uh, encompassing uh, about 75 countries. So Simon, as, as people start traveling again, um, there will be, I think, uh, a, a new emphasis on sustainability. I know that Hilton's been quite strong on this in the past. Yeah. How do you think things might have changed for yourselves and for the traveler um, as a result of this sort of year long uh, hiatus with the pandemic? Oh, look, I think, um, you know, the whole, you know, the, the, the global nature of, um, you know, the way we live, um, you know, has been, um, you know, um, really demonstrated, um, you know, by the pandemic and the connectivity of, uh, you know, the choices that we make to the impact on uh, climate and people's lives has um, is never been starker, frankly. And I think, um, you know, the conferencing Glasgow for COP26 is going to be very interesting in that regard, because I think, um, you know, however you look at it, the pandemic, I think, has probably reinforced the urgent need uh, for, you know, both individuals and corporations to take, um, you know, climate change and sustainability uh, seriously. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, the political leaders are going to, um, uh, you know, set out some ambitious plans and, you know, we've done so ourselves as a corporate uh, Two or three years ago, we, we, we said we wanted to uh, double our social impact and half our carbon footprint by 2030. And we're doubling down on those targets, which are very ambitious targets. And, you know, that cuts through to, you know, the way that we, um, uh, you know, that we build hotels in the first instance, um, you know, the way that we operate hotels and how uh, energy efficient um, they are. Uh, and indeed, you know, the... Um, uh, you know, the way that we handle waste and uh, recycle um, and make a positive contribution to, uh, uh, you know, to to driving real change in this arena. So there are hundreds of initiatives that um, we've got at the forefront of our customer promise and indeed our, um, you know, our values as an organization that, um, you know, we, we need to execute on over the course of, um, uh, of the next few years that are going to only support um, the whole sustainability piece as we move forward. Is it um, is it slightly frustrating that when people talk about sustainability, they tend to just focus on the environment, important though it is, and, and, yeah. and perhaps ignore some of the other the benefits that come from tourism, from work, from from sort of uh, opportunities that um, that paid work in a in a with a decent company yeah. can can offer. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, oh, look, and we've been fundamental to that over the hundred years of. Um, uh, you know, of Hilton and, uh, you know, we have gone into new destinations and created new jobs and new opportunities for, uh, you know, hitherto underdeveloped uh, regions and underdeveloped economies. It's been a big part of our, um, uh, you know, of our, um, uh, you know, of our um, approach to, um, you know, to, um, uh, to operating our business on a global basis. So there is a balance to be struck. There's no question about that. But I think, you um, you know, we're all, uh, you know, I think we can all see and the evidence is pretty stark now about the, uh, uh, you know, the impact of, uh, of climate and the, um, the need for us to have um, the balance right between, you know, uh, you know, economic and wealth creation and, um, and sustainability. And it's about uh, responsible organisations finding that right balance, I think. Great. And governments Thank finding you. that right balance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Simon, in the in the year of the pandemic, um, some yeah. presumably of the Hilton employees were furloughed, and, and some will have continued to work. I mean, what sort of contribution do you feel that they they've made to the the uh, overall effort um, within the UK? Uh, listen, it's been an extraordinary year for all of us. Um, but I, you know, and I, I, I think um, whatever you've been doing, whether you've been on furlough or whether you've been, uh, uh, you know, continuing to. Um, to operate on the front line, it's uh, it's been a challenging year, both professionally and personally. And I, I've been absolutely um, uh, in awe of the way that our team members have responded. For those that were on furlough, many have uh, contributed to uh, charitable initiatives and done volunteering work, uh, supporting uh, where they can. Equally, those that are at the uh, the sharp end in hotels and have continued to provide quarantining services and. Uh, uh, providing safe and secure environments for our guests, be they uh, key workers or be they quarantining team members, you know, they've put themselves at risk. 
um, you know, for the benefit of those customers. And um, uh, I, I have huge admiration for the way in which they've responded. And equally, we've done an awful lot of work uh, out in the community, um, you know, making um, uh, making meals through the World Kitchen Initiative, for instance. I think the London Met last time I looked had made something like 40,000 uh, hot meals for uh, uh, various good causes across London. And most of our hotels across the entire network on a global basis have been contributing in some way, shape or form um, to the community effort, um, particularly in the food and beverage arena. So um, lots of great uh, initiatives going on. And I think it's really talked to how strong our culture is as a business and how strong our sense of purpose uh, and uh, how deep rooted our sense of uh, hospitality is. Um, and I know it's very easy for me to say, and it probably sounds a bit motherhood and apple pie, but it really is quite extraordinary to witness. And um, um, actually for our team members this year to vote us as the number one workplace in the UK was really quite extraordinary, bearing in mind the um, the year that they've had. And that's a fortune, uh, uh, that's a fortune poll. Um, it's something that um, we've contributed to for the last uh, few years, and it's great to achieve finally the number one ranking. And I think that says huge things for a hospitality business to um you know to be at the number one in that respect and huge things about our brand and about our team members